Hello everyone, it's Nick from Claret and Booze. We've all just watched West Ham lose away 1-0 to Man United. Um, that doesn't paint the full the full picture. We're going to go into that um, uh, shortly. Uh, let's let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. So, like I say, if you all saw my 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 me match day morning show, me me pre match warm up warm up, me doom and gloomer. Um, I was dreading that Moyes was going to repeat what he did in terms of lineup against Liverpool. We did not see that on paper. The lineup it looked good, apart from the fucking square peg in a round hole that is Downs in the ten. Now. It was a really, really good looking lineup and 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 it was it, it was fine, you know, to have um to have Dawson back was a was a big bonus. You know, Dawson and Zuma as a centre back pairing with Cresswell on the left, uh Kera at right back. Kera had a good game today as well. And then you had Suchek and Rice in the middle, like I say, downs in that ten. Um Bowen on the right, it was supposed to be injured, but that was obviously Bollocks. And thank God Benny out on the left with Skamaka up top. Now, yeah, all looks good. All looks really nice. All looks attacking on paper, but we did not see that. Um, did we sit back deep and regress and invite them on? No, not really. Uh, that's not what we saw. Did we try and create anything and go after them? No, absolutely fucking not. We didn't. We tried to hold the ball, control the game in a different in a, in, in a different way, but it was to basically just try and control it um, and stifle Man United. We played downs in that 10, for instance, um, now, Flynn Downs pressing from the front. Yeah, good idea. He wins the ball up there. Then what? What's he going to do? What's Downs going to do at that point? Uh, you've got Benny and Bowen and Skamaka all completely unsupported. So whenever they got the um, whenever they got the ball, they had no options. Benny had two or three players on him at, at, at any one time. Uh, he still looked good. There were still some moments of brilliance from Benny, especially that spin, which wasn't just for show. That was fantastic. It had purpose. Um, but again, he just gets crowded out. He had no support. And uh, we've, we've had a ding dong on WhatsApp because people people were calling out our creative players as being uh, not good enough in that first half. We weren't creating bodies forward. You know, for 60 minutes, for 60 minutes of that game, we had a lot of the ball. Do you know how many shots we had on, not on target, on goal? None. No shots on target. There was no intent in the way that we were set up. Forget the formation and forget the personnel. There was no intent in the way that we were committing ourselves to that game to actually get anything from it in the first 60 minutes. It was to control it, um, or 65 minutes, whatever it is. It, we've all heard Antonio's podcast where he expanded on David Moyes' way of approaching the game, and it is control it for 75 minutes, and then in the last 15, you go for it. That is what we saw today. What a difference it made to have an actual number 10 in the number 10 position when four nails came on. Um, and... When we started committing bodies forward, that's what we did. We attacked on mass, and we were so unlucky. We were so unlucky. We created so many chances. You know, uh, uh, four nails going down the right, whipping, whipping a, that whipping the cross in lo the low cross, um, which which Bowen probably should have done better with. Zuma's header, um, uh, Rice's strike at the end. We 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 should we should have got something from that game, but the fact of the matter is, as unlucky as we were. It was too little, too late. We're 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 tackling the last fifteen minutes of a game how we should be approaching the game. All that did today was serve to prove how good West Ham could be as an attacking outfit. You know, we're we're shackled for seventy five minutes, and then we only go for a game for fifteen at the end. More often than not, lately when we're a goal fucking down, I I, I, I just it, it it drives me bananas. It does. We've got such a good team. We've got such good players. How good did we look in that last 15 minutes? Man United shit themselves. They started making substi uh, defensive substitutions. McTominay on, Fred on. They were trying to batten down the hatches. We were all over them, pegging them back. They could not get out. Why do we leave that for the last 15 minutes? You know, yeah, people, people look back to the Liverpool game. Oh, we were unlucky against Liverpool. It was the same fucking thing. It was the same thing. We, we could have got something from Liverpool if we'd have been braver from the start. That weren't even gung-ho football at the end. That was controlled attacking football with purpose. Because David Moyes don't throw the kitchen sink, so you're not leaving yourself too exposed. Why can't we do that from the off? Why can't we be an attacking outfit? Why can't we... You know, we could easily have got something from that game. Easily. You know, worst way, if you lose it, you lose it 3-2. We would have scored. They Their defence was shaky. 
it was shaky. There was a, there was a couple of shouts for um for penalties as well. I thought. Well, I think the I think the Maguire one on Bowen was just outside the box. But then the one uh, where I can't think what defender it was now was it Martinez who basically nothing. That was McTominay as well um, who followed through on Zuma inside the box. We had a couple of shouts, but again, this all this all came way too late. Way too late. Fortune does favour the brave, and doing it in the last fifteen minutes of a game. It's just, I don't know, especially when you won one down. It's maddening. When you saw how good we were in that period, do we not want to be seeing that from the off, people? You know, why can't we do it? Why can't we do that? Like I say, people are pointing fingers in the first half saying, oh, our attackers, they're, they're not good enough. We weren't committing bodies forward. We were easy to defend against. As tricky as Ben Rama is, he skips around one player, he skips around another. He's got a fucking, there's loads. There's He had no passing options half the time. In that period of the game, you know, I'm, I'm glad he, he didn't get hooked in the end. But yeah, for me, I, I've, it's, it's one of them where you come out of it feeling proud of your team. I feel proud of, 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 of the team for the effort that they put in there because they desperately tried to get something from that game. They desperately did. But we were held back again tactically. We were. We, 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 we leave it to the lot. We leave it too long. We leave it too late to actually... Go after the game and look how good we are. Look how good we can be. Um, it's driving me fucking mad. You know, uh, in my opinion, when you look at the last 15 minutes, the best team lost the game today. If we'd have played the way that we ended the game the whole way through it, we beat Man United. The best team lost. But tactically, the best team won. Tactically, we were, it was wrong. It wasn't bad luck. Yeah, good goalkeeping from De Gea. You can't keep on calling that all the time. Yeah, we, we could have got something from the game, but when you're leaving it to the last 15 minutes, the margin for, you, you, you're just leaving yourself no, no margin for error at all. You can't just do that every fucking game. You know, a game is 90 minutes long. You haven't got to kill three quarters of it and then just try and go and get something in the, in, in, in the last quarter. That's, that's mad. It's mad. So look, we're going to talk about it later on. Um, it's going to be quite interesting, probably quite fiery, because like I say, myself and John, we've already had a ding-dong on text, as uh, as uh, many of you, I'm sure, will be happy to know. John has got the opposite um, the opposite view to me on this. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the chat anyway. Like I say, I am not digging that team out. I'll, I, I, I won't even call that game boring. It weren't boring today, um, but it was too little too late. We were unlucky, but we should have set up far more offensive-minded from the start, it doesn't matter what the what the formation is, what it looks like on paper. It's the instructions that the team have got committing bodies forward. There was no instruction to do that in the first half. Shape was important. It, it, there was no passing and moving. There was passing and sitting. Whereas in the second half, it was f in late in the second half, it was fluid. We was bombing at them, you know. Um, so yeah, like I say, um, just a short little match uh, match reaction from me. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on about it too long. Uh, yeah, I, I I enjoyed the game. I've come out of it feeling frustrated um, and still far more questions and answers because all that game did today was prove how good West Ham could be. That's a good, That last 15 minutes is the West Ham that we should be watching, okay? And, um, and we're not seeing it. We're not seeing it. I think we're being held back. I think we're being shackled for three quarters of a game and set free for the last quarter. And I don't think it's good enough. It's not good enough for me. So, um, yeah, unlucky, boys. You put in a great shift today. Uh, I am proud of you. Um, but, no, they weren't helped out by the uh, by the boss in that one. But anyway, look, let me know what your thoughts are. Probably going to get ripped to pieces, but that is how I saw the game. So, um, so yeah, let me know in the, your comments. Um, let, let me know what, what your thoughts are in the comments, and we will see you in uh, an hour or two. What's the time now? Seven o'clock. Yeah, so see you in a couple of hours, Max. All right? See you soon. Come on, you heads. Thank you.